Hello, Defense Attorney Mark Rosenfeld outside the Santa Monica Courthouse. One of the common questions I get is what happens with a traffic trial? A traffic trial is considered a criminal matter. It is the lowest level criminal matter, but it still is a criminal case and you have the rights associated with a criminal case. That means you have the right to an attorney. Now, unlike a misdemeanor or a felony, you do not have a right to an appointed attorney like a public defender, but you do have the right to bring in your own attorney. And it's often a good idea to do that. With a traffic trial, you have the right to subpoena witnesses, whether that's the police officer or other witnesses. You can subpoena documents to be able to present your case. You can call other people that may have been in the car or seen what's going on. You can also produce video, and you have a right to get discovery from the police officers. And you have a right to have an opportunity to be heard and to have an impartial judge make a decision and see whether or not the police can prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the crime they are alleging occurred. And a lot of times they are not able to do that. Sometimes police officers don't show up. Sometimes they do show up and they don't remember the particular facts. And other times they just don't have enough information or they don't lay the proper foundation to meet all the elements of the alleged offense. If you have been charged with a traffic ticket, it is a good idea to get counsel, to get an attorney, to consult on what's going on, and to actually have them represent you in court. It is a much greater likelihood of success if you are working with an attorney and you want to keep the cost down, keep the points off the record if at all possible, and keep your driving record clean. If you've got questions about handling traffic trials, you can reach me directly at 310-424-3145. Stay safe.